Is the following function a power function, polynomial function, both, or neither? So the first thing is we kind of have to know the basic, you know, definitions of the power and polynomial functions. So here they are. So let's just talk about a power function relatively quickly. So it says that the function should equal, all right, some constant. Now that represents the constants. When we hear constants, we think numbers, okay? Some number multiplied by a variable raised to some number or some other constant. Okay, so that has to be another number. And then a polynomial function has a very, very similar general form. Now, you know, I like to use k's here in some textbooks, they use a's and I don't know, it all gets really jumbled. So basically, a polynomial function here, all right, is going to be a function that is equal to any number of terms, you could have one, you could have two, you could have three, you could have four, etc, etc. But what you have to have is you have to have a constant, all right, multiplied by a variable raised to some number or some other constant. So if you notice, they're very similar, right? The power function and the polynomial function, it's just that the power function has basically one term where the polynomial function can have one term or could have two or three or four or some other, uh, you know, non-infinite number of terms, all right? So when we take a look at this function that's given, we see x to the fifth, right? Now, you're, now you might be thinking, well, that's great. I see a variable and I see a number, but uh, Andrew, where's the coefficient? I don't see it. Or where's that constant in the front? Um, it's there, right? It's there. It's just not written. Uh, what happens if we were to plug in a one X to the fifth, right? If we plugged in a one there, wouldn't that be the same thing as just X to the fifth? Uh, yeah, right. It would be. Uh, and therefore the constant there in the front is actually a one. All right. By the way, one value that the constant cannot be here is a zero. You can't have a zero here because anything multiplied by zero then just goes to zero. So then it would just be f of x is equal to zero. And uh, that's basically nothing. Not that it's nothing. Actually, zero, nothing. That's a good philosophical question. I'll let you ponder. Guys, thanks for tuning in. So actually, did I conclude both? The answer is both. It's both, right? It's both before I go. It's both. Um, it is a power function. It has the form. Okay, it's also a polynomial function uh, because it has one of the terms that matches, right? It, it conforms to a polynomial function. It, it would be known as a monomial, okay? But it is a type of polynomial, so it's both. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks uh, again for tuning in. Um, we will see you soon. Okay, I'm done. Bye.